So thank you for joining. So it's a great pleasure to have you here with us in this um, one more community call from Open Air. So the, the focus today uh, will be on the on the Open Air graph, the Open Air research graph. Um, so uh, let's say that um, periodically we are we are introducing uh, some novelties. We are um, let's say providing more um, qualified um data in procedures to build this uh, research graph and uh, today we will have um, an open air colleague uh, Tanasis Vergulis to to um, to explain a bit more about the the, the graph and those novelties uh, but we want to also to provide to you the um, let's say some of the novelties that we have in the in the in the main service to provide dashboard as we usually usually do so um these two main topics we also want to to highlight a bit the repositories upgrade campaign that we are that we have uh, so maybe we can do it um highlight just an alert uh, before tanasi's talk but then we can also present that after uh, um tanasi's presentation so thank you for 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 joining all um, let, let's just uh, uh, briefly highlight some of the um, of the. Usually, we provide some information, some recent news. So we all have almost every uh, all calls uh, that we manage. We have new 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 people, which is which is good. So this is a, a community call where you can provide us feedback. You can give us your opinion about uh, some of the work that we are doing uh, or some of the things that are not so clear for you in terms of. Um, the services that open air uh, have for for um, providers or repositories for for journals for CRI systems uh, publications and data repositories so important to highlight uh, that usually this have an impact uh, in the way that you can um, check the information from your data source uh, that is the content that is available in open air infrastructure and also the um, the for example for you to receive the notifications from the broker service okay uh, so uh, the last update uh, and the, the the index and the statistics update is from uh, last 30 of january so for sure those that have um, enabled some notifications in the broker so you already receive it if you receive it via email if if not, you can check it in the in the dashboard. Uh, so the notifications will will be there. Uh, but uh, so be aware that the the content in the in Explore, uh, for example, in the Explore. Um, was updated um, in in this in this state. So usually we provide some minimum information about um, these updates if there are relevant changes in the. In the content that in the index that we have updated um, in this link, so be aware of that. So usually we like to provide this information because sometimes we have some some delays. We are not so we don't have um, the, the schedule so well managed because it depends of some changes in the infrastructure. Big uh, like big providers to to, to that have, have have we need to integrate some changes and. Uh, uh, so and we need to accommodate those those changes and sometimes we we cannot comply with the the, the periodicity that we, we we want so this is why usually we highlight the these dates here uh, one thing that we are doing and uh, maybe it's good also to have your feedback uh, this uh, some dashboards user interface changes minimal changes but they are relevant also we did it also because for two reasons because of the the, uh, com the update campaign that we are doing so to to push for repositories that have uh, basic compliance level or 2.0 compliance level to become 3 and 4.0 compliant uh, we have introduced some changes in the um, to clarify the process of updating the OII image interface or the desired compatibility level. So I can share with you um, these changes. So in the in your data source, when you manage your data source, you have an area here to update. Okay, and then you we can update some information. We can update the interfaces. Even we can update. Be aware of that. I always like to highlight this. You can also update the administrator. So we have a, now a multi-user 
um, facility that we have integrated last year. So if you have only one login to access the dashboard, you can here have more logins in order for different people in the institution or, or, or managing the, the community uh, data source um, to, 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 to access the, this information. So this what the changes that we, do, we did uh, are only here in the update interfaces to make it more clear. So now what, do, what we can do is to update the OIP image uh, interface URL or to change the desired compatibility level. So my colleague Andre Vieira prepared an, an interesting uh, slide. Let me share here that have these two scenarios just for to, to make it clear. So if a, if a manager needs to update the compatibility level only, but you you didn't change, you didn't provide any change uh, about, the, about the base URL of the interface. So you can just in the uh, in the um, in the box that where the information about your current uh, aggregated uh, OIP image interface is, you can just ask for a desired compatibility level and you change it. Okay, you have the information of the current compatibility level because this we had lots of issues with with users asking questions about this, so we decided to put an area where you have the current compatibility level and then you ask to uh, an update to, ch to change and you, you select desired compatibility level and you save and this will run a validation and this uh, information will be sent to our aggregation team okay if you uh, if you want also to change the interface okay the OIP image interface so you need to to check this uh, box here highlighted in, in in orange so you need to click add a new interface fill the, 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 the form, so uh, provide the, the new interface and, 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 and then uh, ask, uh, so fill also the, the compatibility level that uh, your, your repository is compliant with. So these are the changes. So I think this was important for, to start the campaign, to make it more clear, uh, because in some cases, um, uh, managers didn't change nothing in the uh, OIP image interface. Other cases they changed. So, and we had to deal with several issues on 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 the help desk. They were not so clear. I hope that now it's more clear. <laughs> of course, this something that uh, you need to tell us. But I hope that this these changes will be a benefit for 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 our our um, content providers. So, and uh, again, this information is visible here and you select your data source, update, and then update interfaces. You can, we can, you can deal with this if you have more than two interfaces. So I'm, I'm using it. So this information is in beta. Uh, our idea was to implement it yesterday in order to, for you to, to see it production today, but we, we didn't want to, to make noise. So. You can see it now in beta, and uh, and tomorrow you will see it in 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 uh, in, um, in production in your dashboard. If you if you want to provide any feedback, so please please do. Uh, you are more than welcome. Um, so this this is the the, uh, uh, the dashboard changes. So you you are aware that we we have the the provide public roadmap where you can also ask for changes, uh, give your feedback about um, some of the implementations that what you are doing. What, another another alert that I want to do, this is something that we already have, is about the help desk support. Um, we already uh, so took out from the portal the whole ticket system that it was a, a kind of form where you access via the, the portal. But so sometimes people go to to hold links and they create a ticket system there and you are we are not so responsive so be aware that we have a new ticket system uh the, the way that you can interact with the ticket system is via email and then you will receive automatic replies and you can see the the all the um, the history of the messages exchange uh, if you have any request that you sent via ticket system that we didn't reply so sorry for that. It's because of this change between systems. Please, um, we will try to 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 check that. But uh, if you can uh, 
uh, ask again and send a, a request to the help desk dot um, at openair.eu you will re you will receive a, a feedback message and then we will manage and in uh, in in for sure between 24 and 48 hours you will receive a reply so now things are more stable in this ticket system i hope that you, you can cope with your needs so be aware of that don't use old links okay <laughs> use this new way to interact just send an email, a message to help desk uh, at openair.eu um, we are also integrating this with several forms in different places but we are doing this progressively okay so information about the changes uh, just before the graph presentation another alert and here i also invite my colleague andreas from from the university of bielefeld if you want also to say something so um uh, we have a validator for Chris systems okay that also validate against the, our guidelines for Chris systems the registration process also works well in our provide dot uh, open uh, service so you are more than welcome so we already registered some Chris systems we have already on board this so you are more than welcome and to be part of 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 of, of open air infrastructure and to contribute with your content we know that sometimes there are institutions that provided us repository content maybe they want also to 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 have their Chris systems so you can do both or you can just uh, join us uh, andreas is there anything that you would like to uh, alert us we we would like to 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 run a webinar with um, our colleagues from eurocris that we have a partnership um and uh, i hope that in the coming for in march or in april we will have a webinar with eurocris to to better um disseminate this but um andreas do you want to say something maybe i said everything but <laughs> Hello um, and welcome from my side also. So um, yes, Pedro, you described it well um, regarding our aggregation of possibilities of uh, current research information systems. And if there anything um, to know and would you like, please uh, send mail to helpdesk at openair.eu. So we uh, take a look on this and will uh, offer help to register Chris systems um, at any time. Thank you. Okay, great. Be aware that the authoritative uh, um, directory for registration is the, the DRIES from EuroCRIS. So um, register your uh, Chris system in DRIES and then um, you can uh, register it also in open air and then comply with our guidelines and the content will be aggregated. So these are the... the um, the informations that I, I want to give. So uh, the next topic will be the 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 open air research graph, the novelties, also the way that the content, uh, your content as providers of open air is part of the graph. So uh, I will stop sharing. And then after the presentation, we will, we will have sometimes also to this upgrade campaign, just to some highlights. We already talked about that in the last call. Tanasis, um, feel free and uh, thank you for joining yeah. so you can present can you yourself me? if you if you want so many yeah. thanks for the for the effort also to be available yes, uh, okay um first of all uh thank you for the invitation uh for those that that don't know me i am Thanas Vergulis. Uh, i am uh the development and operation director of open air since uh, june um so um I would like to uh, present um, our new vision about the graph and uh, the main ideas uh, behind the development uh, for the next months. Uh, we are going to have uh, a lot of new stuff that uh, we are going to release. So I will just give you a sneak peek, let's say. Uh, so um, these days we are uh, currently working on uh, drafting a, a new uh, roadmap uh, for the development of the graph. And uh, during the next weeks, uh, at some point, uh, we plan to release it uh, along with uh, 
a communication uh, uh, campaign uh, to advertise about this. Uh, so uh, please uh, stay tuned and uh, follow uh, all the open air channels uh, so that uh, you can uh, have uh, you can get all the information uh, soon. Uh, but uh, to build a roadmap, the main idea is that uh, you should first of all identify uh, some objectives, some main goals uh, for the next period. Uh, so uh, the main goals that we have identified, uh, more or less, uh, are the following. First of all, uh, we want to make uh, the graph more developer friendly, uh, well documented and interoperable. Uh, so this is uh, the first uh, aim that we have. Uh, so we have identified that, uh, for example, during the previous period, uh, it was not uh, very easy uh, for people wanting to uh, exploit data from the graph uh, to do it. Uh, the documentation was not uh, uh, very uh, centralized and uh, very concrete and very comprehensive. Uh, and uh, this uh, uh, was creating difficulties for developers wanting to uh, build services on top of the graph. So one of the first objectives that we have is to change this uh, and uh, provide a lot of resources for developers that want to utilize this uh, uh, let's say this output of your work also because everything that you provide to open air uh, is then being exposed through the open air graph uh, so if we have a very document a very well documented uh, and uh, very friendly to the developer uh, graph uh, then all this information uh, that we get from you uh, will be useful valuable and uh, easily available to uh, any uh, developers that want to create uh, added value services on top of this data. Uh, and another direction that we are also working on uh, is the interoperability of the graph. Uh, in particular, uh, Open Air participates and uh, steers uh, the works, uh, the activities of a particular RDA group, uh, which is about uh, the open science graphs and uh, how to make them fair. Um, more or less, this uh, group uh, is trying to identify common specifications, common uh, data models, uh, or uh, common uh, ways uh, to exchange uh, information and uh, to publish information uh, for all the uh, open science graphs, uh, like Open Air Graph, uh, but also others uh, like uh, Open Alex, uh, the PID graph from Freya and uh, uh, similar uh, resources. So uh, we are all discussing uh, to find uh, uh, a lingua franca, uh, a way to um, exchange, uh, to make easy easy to exchange data uh, between the graphs and to make sure that uh, we all uh, speak the same language. Uh, also, the graph uh, already is considered to be uh, a very wide uh, map of science. Uh, 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 let's say a complete map of science. Uh, so uh, already the open air graph uh, contains information that uh, you cannot find anywhere else uh, about uh, some uh, um, entities. Uh, that are central uh, to the research uh, ecosystem, uh, but are not uh, well represented in other resources. For example, uh, we are tracking organizations, uh, uh, people, uh, funders, projects, uh, topics. Uh, so uh, we already have uh, a good starting point. Uh, but we plan to further expand uh, this uh, coverage uh, of the graph uh, in terms of different entities and properties of the entities that are included. Uh, for example, uh, there is an ongoing work to improve uh, the coverage that we have in uh, citations, not only uh, paper citations, but also data citations. Uh, 
we are also uh, working on providing additional metadata about the research uh, products, like for example the field of the field of science that uh, they are related to, uh, some uh, citation based uh, or usage indicators uh, about uh, their impact. Uh, so we are trying to to include more information, uh, more rich information, and uh, to improve the coverage uh, in the graph. Um, also, uh, another thing that uh, we we want to work on it uh, during the next period is to uh, try to in, include some uh, quality. Uh, indicators about the data that we have. Uh, so uh, to make sure that uh, every piece of data that uh, we are exposing through the graph uh, is accompanied uh, with relevant provenance information. Uh, so you know uh, from where uh, this piece of data uh, is originated. Uh, but also to, to have some indications about uh, uh the completeness of the metadata uh, of the respective records and things like that uh and uh, finally uh we want to to change the way that we produce the graph uh, uh, making sure that uh, uh when it is possible we will try to reduce uh, the resources needed uh, so we are trying to make it uh, more easy to uh, uh, maintain uh, more compact uh, so that it is uh, possible for us to uh, continue uh, extending it and, play, and providing uh, new versions of it uh, without uh, problems. Uh, so more or less, uh, these are the general themes that we have in mind. Uh, for the next period, and all these are uh, translated into uh, a lot of different uh, additions, uh, not a lot of new features that uh, uh, I think they are very uh, important and uh, uh, will make uh, this research this research resource even more uh, valuable uh, than it is right now. And uh, as a first. Uh, 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 step we have already started uh, 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 going to this direction. For example, uh, regarding making the graph uh, more uh, documented and uh, uh, easy to use. Uh, I would like at this point uh, to share my screen uh, just to to let you see. Yes, please do. Um, Um, hmm. uh, give me a moment because sorry, it, it says that I should quit and reopen, maybe because yeah, because if it is a, a Mac, I, 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 yes, please, please, do, no, no problem, no problem. I will do, we wait, we wait uh, half a minute, yeah. So um, when when um, uh, Tanasis was presenting, be, be aware of what what we put in the chat because there are some things that are um, quite new. So the documentation from the graph that, um, in fact, I I shared it with at the same time of Andre. So it's uh, it's uh, it was updated recently. Okay, this is why Tanasis mentioned that. Uh, so the documentation was not so rich, and now. It's much better, um, and we have much more details there. So the graph.openair.eu slash docs. So it's the, where we have the documentation. Then uh, also, um, Andre shared a start, uh, um, a beginner's kit, okay? Uh, that I think it's uh, it's also interest, inter interesting. Um, oh, sorry, sorry uh, for that. And then uh, do you have also some of the... Um, the mentions in the in the in the chat that uh, Tanasis did. So, for example, for the open science graphs for for, for that interest group from RDA. So you can see all the links in the chat that um, Tanasis mentioned. So yeah, you are already sharing the screen, Tanasis. Okay. 
uh, sorry for that uh, this is a new machine and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. usually it happens <laughs> no problem <laughs> so uh as, as a first step for example uh, by the end of this year uh we gave uh, the first version we released the first version of the new uh, open Air research graph documentation website uh, you can find it here this is the address graph.openair.eu slash docs but of course if you go to the uh, already known website graph.openair.eu you will find it into the resources section and you can click it uh, and uh, follow the link uh, so uh, this new website uh, is trying to is an attempt to contain everything that uh, is important uh, for people that want to build services on top of the graph uh, so you can learn about the data model if you click here uh, and go to the entity section for example you can see the different entities that the graph contains along with, along with information about the various uh, attributes that that we keep for each of these entities uh, and also uh, some examples about the types of uh, values that are expected we also provide information about the relationships that we have between different entities uh, so uh, this is a, a, a good starting point for someone wanting to work with uh, uh, data uh, but uh, the documentation website also provides more information uh, about the way that the uh, data of the graph are produced so you can find uh, the full uh, workflow uh, that uh, is followed to produce uh, the data of the graph. Uh, you can find details for each of these uh, sub-components. Uh, so uh, it is more transparent uh, uh, based on this documentation, the graph uh, uh, pro uh, production uh, workflow is more transparent. Uh, anyone can uh, see the different steps followed and uh, can learn about the details. And of course, this is uh, uh, a resource that uh, we will constantly up constantly update, uh, including uh, all the changes in the workflow uh, and maybe also uh, adding uh, additional information based on the request that we have. Uh, so that people can uh, learn everything inside uh, this new documentation website. Um, of course, uh, there are uh, also links to the relevant publications, to the license, a change look about the different versions of the graph uh, that you can learn uh, what uh, the, each, each, each version of the graph, uh, what, um, um, what are the changes for, from the previous one. And uh, we have released this uh, for version five of the Open uh, Open Research Graph. And uh, each time we have a new version, uh, we are going to update it. Uh, so uh, if you go to this website, you will find uh, each time the information about the more, most recent version. Uh, but it will be also possible to to find information about the specific version. Uh, maybe the one that you have used in the past, uh, you have downloaded some files. So the idea is that we are going to have also uh, a history about uh, different uh, graph versions. And uh, we tried to build it uh, using uh, um, a, a platform that allows, uh, for example, uh, even for searching, uh, the documentation so you can go here uh, you can think of something for example impact indicators and you can see that as i type uh, there are uh, different uh, suggestions uh, that appear very well structured to help uh, uh, the user understand uh, which are the pages uh, why they appear here as a search result and after clicking it, you are you are uh, redirected to the uh, particular page, and uh, you can see uh, the keywords used uh, being highlighted. Uh, so uh, we think that it's a very uh, easy to use resource. And finally, uh, together with this documentation website, uh, we also released uh, a new resource. It is called uh, the Beginner's Kit. Uh, so if you go uh, here. Uh, you can download uh, a subset of the graph, uh, 
uh, that contains uh, almost everything, all the entities that uh, the full graph contains, uh, but in a small, uh, in a, it is a small uh, subset of, of the whole graph uh, that can fit uh, easily in a local computer. So one of the problems that we have was that people that want, uh, were wanting to uh, work with a graph, uh, they have a first impediment uh, related to the fact that this graph is huge. And uh, if you want to process it, uh, you cannot do it in a, a local regular uh, computer, for example, on your laptop. Uh, so for the people to, to have a first uh, experience, uh, working with uh, date, with the graph contents, uh, this was a problem because uh, some of them may be junior developers that had no experience uh, working on a cluster. Uh, so to alleviate this issue, uh, we created this resource, the Open Research Graph Beginners Kit. Uh, it is a small subgraph, but also it contains a particular uh, notebook uh, that has some useful uh, queries uh, on this subset of the graph, uh, so people can use uh, this package uh, to to load a small version uh, of this graph uh, in their local computers and use these uh, queries as a first attempt uh, to try to analyze uh, the graph and educate themselves, become familiar with the underlying data model, the contents, and all this. So uh, I will stop here uh, my presentation. Um, this is just uh, an indicative set of uh, new developments that I covered. Uh, but as you may imagine, uh, during the next, uh, and as I said, uh, during the next month, uh, we are go months, we are going to provide a lot uh, of more additional functionalities in the directions that I described. So stay tuned, and uh, uh, you will learn more more soon. Yeah, great. Thank you very much, Thanasis. <clears throat> so if you have any questions, so feel free or any comment, um, feel free to do. So we don't have in the in the chat, but um, uh, so this is also important. We understand that this is not exactly the provider's dashboard that we usually talk about here, but it's the it's the 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 graph uh, with content that we all contribute and that our precious content from our data sources are being uh, uh, is, is part of and is are being managed and enriched yes and uh, I, I and i think that the the, the whole uh, intention is that uh, you you share this data uh, so that it it can be exposed uh, through the graph to third parties but also they are used uh, for the open air services. Uh, so everything that uh, can be, uh, every service that uh, can leverage this data, your data, uh, to to make anything useful, uh, relies on uh, uh, the completeness, on the uh, friendliness uh, of this graph. So in that uh, sense, it is uh, very uh, related to what you're doing. Yes, true. So, uh, and so one of the clear no... visible visible parts of that is the broker, uh, the mm -hmm. bro the metadata enrichments that we are sending to you via the, the the provide dashboard, and that I also also talked about the notification. So this is what the, yes. like I said the visible part because every time we generate this new graph, we can we are able also to generate metadata enrichment for 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 all of us that are contributing with content so Tanasis, i know that you are um, that you have other commitments <laughs> you are yes, in the yes. of kick off meeting of a project so yes if people don't have questions for you urgent questions so be aware that you can always put questions in the in the chat or even in that document that usually we share in the in the invitation uh, so if if you feel free to put questions there because then we can forward to Tanasis and Tanasis can reply to you if needed, okay? Okay. Th thanks so, again for the invitation and uh, for the interest. And uh, so, uh, and of, for sure we so, will... Sorry let, for let, leaving let, early. Yes, yes, no problem. For sure we'll uh, let this community be aware of the, the upcoming developments and when is there anything really 
important to share with them so you will join us uh, uh, in another community call <laughs> okay bye bye bye, -bye. Have a nice bye. Meeting. okay thank you so um i don't think we need uh, um, much more time so uh, uh in fact so uh, i just want to highlight that uh, those those the, the enrichments that we we are talking about that I was talking about they are available here uh, as I know that sometimes there are new new people here be aware that we have this uh, you 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 select you select your your data source and you are aware, you are be, you are able to <clears throat> check the enrichments and to see the, the the enrichments this is be aware that for each type of metadata enrichment we only show uh, if you have it uh, 100 events so uh, for you to be aware of all the metadata enrichments available for you you need to um, uh, um, register for a notification okay um, and you can uh, check if you want for example to receive the missing uh, links to 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 our kids you can subscribe here uh on the top right of the this this uh, window you can subscribe the events or or you can filter and for example just to want um, events from a specific uh, since a specific year you can also filter this and then subscribe based on the filters and you will have the notifications here in this notifications uh, area okay be aware of of that um and uh, just that I am sharing, be aware that in the beta uh, that we have, we will put these updates of the interfaces available in, in production for you. Okay, let's let's just um, finalize. Uh, and here, if Andre, Vieira, or, or Leonidas Pispiringas want to, to say something, uh, so be aware of, of this, share with your colleagues in your countries, or, or if this is really for you, so... Uh, as we did this update also, we, we slightly delay a bit the beginning of this upgrade campaign because of the changes that we, we were doing in the um, in, in provide dashboard. Uh, so uh, we won't we are doing this campaign because we have a big amount of repositories that the sources that are compliant with the basic guidelines that we had like since driver or 2.0 when we only aggregate um, a set of content from your repository so version 3 and version 4 of the open air guidelines are the ones that are critical in the european open science cloud ecosystem so this is why we are pushing for this this is why it's more urgent let's say of course um there is an urgency because you can benefit from uh, other kinds of uh, services and quality uh, from your data if you are compliant with 3.0 and 4.0 in the open air uh, services ecosystem and uh, it's uh, the, the 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 way that we aggregate your content from version 3 or 4, 4 it's, it's 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 completely different from the past uh, versions and it's critical for the graph also that uh, Tanas is presented so this is why we are pushing so please um, Im, Im, improve the way that you are exposing so there are lots of of, of benefits um in this content and uh, in this context uh, but be aware of this change so we have open air provide as uh, where we onboard data sources for the open air infrastructure but now also open air uh, is uh, open air graph and the providers of open air are critical in the development of the european open science cloud concretely the research products catalog uh, so you can be on be on board directly in in the in the european open science cloud portal or or via our provide service uh, so and this is this is is relevant because uh, you will be part of the all the yosk portal a catalog and marketplace where we don't have only uh, the products so the research products publications data sets etc that we have in open air but you we also have other sources services that we have in the yosk portal and uh, the vision is that is, is great is that we can also identify for example 
um, data sets deposited in a specific data repository that were um, uh, collected, uh, uh, processed, analyzed uh, with the help of um, some of other other um, uh, services, for example. And this is interesting when we look to this. Uh, broader vision of, of having this in EOSC. Uh, and then uh, it is also important that, um, and this is already something that we do via open air, but we, we still have the reporting thing in the um, in the to the European Commission, so uh, open air still uh, be the infrastructure, and then provide information and facilitates the reporting of research data and publications. Be aware that for the report, reporting purposes, now the the the, the Horizon Europe um, portal also accommodate the research that uh, thing so there is a tab to report publications and there is a tab to report research data and the research data also receives suggestions from from open air so i don't know leonidas if you if you want to highlight so we are coming to an end this is really just to highlight what what uh, the changes why is important the applications between the versions maybe uh, if you want to say something based on this slide or this slide, I don't know. So we are just repeating some slides from the past just for you to be aware. Uh, if you are not, uh, maybe some, some of you are already 3.0 or 4.0, you are not the target, but you can share it in with your colleagues in, at the national level or in, in other institutions. Or uh, if you are uh, the target of this campaign, be aware of uh, that we are here to support you in this campaign compliance upgrade. Leonidas, you want to add something? Leonidas, Andre, uh, Andreas from Bielefeld, uh, we are here to support yes. you. So. We are all here to support you. We will uh, assist you on the upgrade you will perform to the compliance to the open air guidelines. And uh, if you start the upgrade our propose we propose uh, that uh, you should upgrade to the guidelines version of four and not to version three <laughs> if you are uh, compatible prior to version three right yes. now because uh, the version four is the most recent one and it's one it's the one that will be also we lost you i think the Headphones are an issue. No need us. I think we. Yes, it will be the one that we will uh, maintain in the future. Okay. And upgrade. Yes. 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 This is this is critical. So of course we are pushing for an upgrade. Um, okay, minimum three point zero. But of course, if the, if you are doing an effort, uh, do do the effort also to comply with that 4.0 because this will make all um, so our life easier but also um, the the richness of your content um, improved a lot so the the importance of the of the control vocabularies for example is something that is critical and then then we have it in the the guidelines um, 4.0 so uh, every community call, uh, be aware that we can ask, uh, reply to your questions about this in the coming, uh, during this year, for sure, we will come up. I hope that we can act fast, uh, but we know that uh, this is not a, a, um, a fast process. So in some cases, institutions need to, this is related with the budget available in the, in libraries or in the, in the services that manage this kind of data sources, you need to, to maybe to to order a service for companies to to support you in this upgrade. Other cases is to do this request internally in the IT in the IT teams from your research institution, university, etc. So we need we know that the, you need some time, but try to put as one of the priorities of 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 um, the 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 management of your uh, services uh, to have this compliance uh, upgrade that is is critical helpdesk dot helpdesk at openair.eu is is available i'm not sure maybe andrea or leonidas can share this link there is a guide uh, also an important guide 
uh, for you to be aware of of, of the um, this compliance uh, and this campaign uh, that we can also anticipate and share with you. So um, this is what we want to highlight. Um, so we have some minutes available. If you have questions, please please put in the chat. I'm checking if we have anything. Um, Okay, so um, upcoming calls, you know, every first Wednesday of the month, we have the call. Uh, it's interesting because we are doing the call in the 1st of February and the coming one is also in the 1st of March. Put, please put in your agenda. Um, information is already available in the, in the community call web page that we have in the Open Air portal. Uh, uh, yesterday and uh, maybe some of you received it also today but uh, we send out the newsletter that we usually send out every every month just one or two days before the community call so there are important uh, also news so uh, please uh, uh, check the newsletter and you will see information about the registration of free system also this important uh, if you are not aware yet about this joint um, um, this joint strategy that uh, Openair did with Coar and also with uh, Lever and Spark Europe, uh, I think this is an important statement, a joint statement that you can you can check. So um, if you don't receive the newsletter, go there and, and subscribe. So we send every 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 month three four um, articles that we think they are important for for all the providers of open air okay and we are we are done thank you very much for joining again so i hope this uh, was useful so we just share with you some recent changes in the dashboard this campaign of the of the compliance uh, upgrade and also the um, i think it's it's quite important also the 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 information that tanas is very good is the um, the um, development uh, director of Open Air, Sherry uh, and it was also good for you to to know him and um, to heard from him the recent uh, novelties, the novelties that we have in in the graph. So, hope that you it was useful this this community call, and I think uh, if you have questions, you can put it in the in the document, the Google document that Andre already shared here. Uh, maybe uh, you can put questions there and we will reply but we have a ticket system and help desk ticket system help that help desk and just send the the, the the questions that you have bye bye all thank you very much for your presence and the participation and um, so uh, stay with us uh, so stay connected with our channels and communication channels because you, you we have novelties every every week <laughs> bye bye all thank you all.